How do you feel about the beef between Captain Vinny and Sammy B, and how do you think we're going to squash that beef? I think proper songwriting isn't going to really happen in our band until Vinny and Sam bury the hatchet. They're going to have to hug, they're going to have to kiss, they're going to have to hold hands, they're going to have to do something. I don't know what it is yet, but um, you can feel the tension there. It's rubbing like it's about to start a fire, like two little twigs going... And the flame's going to burst up. One of the two is going to catch on fire. I'm hoping it's Vinny, because he's a little bit smaller than Sam. It'll be easier to put out than uh, Sam would be if Sam caught fire. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely a hindrance on the horn section of our songwriting process. What do I think about... What? Sorry. Right. Yeah, writing music. I mean, I think it's cool. Like, I, you know... Yeah, I don't really have any experience writing songs. I've messed around with uh, guitars over the years and just kind of did some of that, but really nothing as far as structure like you guys are doing here. So, um, been toying around with it a little bit. Basically, I sit down with what you guys record, throw up on the Dropbox, and then I'll just I'll listen to it a little bit and uh, try to try to play along with it. Yeah, I just like to kind of play along and then I'll just scratch something down on a piece of paper, rinse, repeat until I have something that sounds halfway decent to me. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want it to enough, it's like anything. If you want, if you have the drive and the passion and want to do something, yeah, absolutely. It's not the same kind of songwriting that I'm used to. I'm used to songwriting where I'm at my laptop and I could input notes on there. So like I have a, a music notation software called Sibelius. Transpose it to a trumpet score and print it out rather than just coming up with notes and rhythms and memorizing. I try my best. <laughs> I could, it, 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 takes, it, takes, it takes a lot of, so like whenever you look at notes, it's very intimidating to see a bunch of black ink on the page, a bunch of notes in one area. And so that could be overwhelming at some times where if I could just, I have like a classical side, you guys have more experience with ska. So if I write something and you say, that's not ska, I'm going to say, what makes it not sound like ska? And you say, I don't know, it just doesn't sound like ska. That's whenever I change it, and you're like, okay, we're getting closer to ska, I change it again, and now they're like, that's ska. We so, did a ska! We did a ska. I love me some Mephiscopheles. I, I, I listen to the one album on repeat sometimes. Um, and you can't go wrong with some Five Iron Frenzy. Yeah. But I, I could listen to them all day. Yeah, my drum setup, I don't know, like today I experienced everything's kind of far apart. So I was having problems doing the doo-doo kaka and then like all this stuff's over here. And then, it, you know, the drum setup affects it minimally, but it does affect it. <clears throat> like chuggy almost. Uh, Beats. So like in most of her courses, or the, the metal band song and the song that we just did today, they both have metal band as choruses. And it's, it's, in both of them, it's really chuggy, real slow beat to make it feel like... I pull a lot from trap music, because it's easy to play, and it's catchy. A lot of people like trap drums, or at least people my age. Then I throw it on the mixer and everything's like, mm, so, so big, poppy. Uh, right. So that helps me, and, and then I can just sit down and, you know, record a few beats, and then I'm like, that would sound great in that song, and yeah. I think that writing lyrics is a little more difficult. Writing music is more, uh, for me, it's how I feel. You know, I, I just feel these notes, I feel the rhythm, I feel the song. Writing the lyrics, I, I want to have a message that I'm, you know, putting out there and portraying. I have ideas and I want to make sure that my ideas are kind of working themselves throughout the song. And every time I sit down and I write something, I'm like, this is pretty good, I like this. And then uh, the next time I go and I read it, I'm like, yeah, that was garbage, I need to redo this. So usually I just use a simple text-based editor. Uh, the one that I like to use for, is from the programming world. It's uh, Sublime Text, and it's a dark screen. Uh, it's, it kind of keeps things nice and even. It spaces the words evenly across from each other, so it's kind of uh, a nice little tool. Quite a few engineers I know that uh, actually do music. And I think that um, 
our analytical brains work very well with the music side of things because music is very mathematical. There's notes, there's structure, where you can break rules and where you can't. Mm -hmm. And that's sometimes fun in music to kind of break some rules to kind of give it a certain feel or make something feel that's a, you know, a little bit different. I thought we did that whole thing. You did. We didn't do the outro. Oh, gotcha. No experience writing lyrics, uh, but I wrote uh, lots of music for uh, metal, uh, lots of metal riffs and stuff like that. No actual writing the lyric. <laughs> uh, now I have two different notebooks that I use. Uh, one that I just put general ideas and stuff in, and another notebook, and it's a Moleskine, and I use different colored pens because I'm a Fruit Loop like that. And um, I just kind of scroll out my ideas in their own messy space until it turns into what I think might be a song.